Hi everyone, this is Shukesh Bonik from India and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy S Duos and I am going to make a full hardware test on this mobile phone. You must have already seen the unboxing and hands-on review, if not then check that out first. Now let's get started. Regarding the exterior look of this device, it has got a lot of similarities with the very premium Galaxy S3. Especially the front look of this device is almost same though the back and the side view is a little bit different. So the exterior design of this phone is obviously excellent and it looks quite smart, very very intelligent and also very simple as well. Now let's have a quick tour on the exterior design of this phone. Here is the 4 inch display with 800 by 40 pixels at the rate of 233 ppi and it is not Super AMOLED or Super AMOLED Plus, it is the plain TFT screen. Though it is quite good, I will show you that later. Now the display is also not that much glossy and it doesn't attract that much fingerprints as you can see. Now down here you are getting 3 touch with buttons and the home is actually a push button which also unlocks your phone which is sometimes quite handy. And as you can see the capacity buttons are not visible without the backlight. Now here on the top you are getting the ear speaker grill along with the proximity sensor over here and there is also a front facing camera which can take up to VGA quality videos and you can obviously use it for video calling which is possible directly from the dial pad of this phone and this is also a dual sim phone with smart dual sim functionality. Now here on the back you are getting a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with VGA recording and there is also an LED flash over here. Here is the speaker grill and the back panel of this phone has got a nice matte finish and it doesn't feel cheap plastic like other Galaxy phones. It is made of very premium soft touch plastic and also feels quite sturdy. The overall design of this phone is actually quite good. Now here on the top you are getting the 3.5mm headset jack and here on the right hand side you are getting the power as well as the lock unlock key. Now here is the volume rocker and the position of the volume rocker as well as the power key is just perfect for a medium sized hand. And the 4 inch display of this phone is also quite nicely accessible by your thumb. So this kind of dimension of a phone is quite suitable for everyday rough uses. Now here on the bottom you are getting the charging as well as the dancing port and here is the microphone hole. And here is the micro SD card slot and the good thing is that it is hot swappable though the SIM cards are not. And as you can see there is a silver bezel with matte finish running around the edges of this phone. And I personally feel that this kind of matte silver bezel making this phone looking a little bit cheap actually. But it is all up to your choice. But regarding the back look and the front look of this device it is quite good. I have no complaint about it. And another very good thing about this mobile phone is that it feels quite sturdy and the weight of this phone is also quite standard. It is 120 gram. So unlike other Galaxy series phones, it doesn't feel that much feather light and holding this phone actually feels quite nice. Now let me show you the display on this device which is the most admirable thing on this mobile phone. It is quite bright, the color reproduction is good and the pixels are also quite crisp. 233 ppi is more than good for a device like this and looking at the display feels quite soothing to the eyes. Let me show you some high quality photos to show you the actual capability of this display. As you can see friends, the color reproduction of the display is looking quite nice. I have seen these photos on a lot of mobile phones but I am telling you friends, the color from the display is amazingly good and the display is obviously not as saturated as Super AMOLED but I personally feel that the saturation level is perfect, not over saturated and also not under saturated and under 17,000 rupees price tag I feel that this is the best mobile phone considering the display quality. Now let me show you the viewing angles. And as you can see the viewing angles are also quite good though there is a slight decrease in the brightness but it is not considerable. Overall the display on this device is excellent. Now let's get back to the home. Well as you have seen the response of the home is not instantaneous. In fact I always feel a little bit lag on the whole touches user interface on this phone. Though the processor is 1 GHz, it is mid-range Cortex-A5 so you may not get very super fast response from the UI. But don't forget that this is a mid-range phone and you are also getting a 4 inch display dual sim calling and also the very intuitive nature UX you got on the Galaxy S3. There are a bunch of other phones with the same processor in the market. Now let me show you a demonstration of the sensors on the phone. First of all let me show you the proximity sensor and this phone does have a proximity sensor and as you can see the response time is quite good. Now this phone doesn't have any ambient light sensor so there is no auto brightness control. There is a brightness control tool over here and you have to do this manually. 
so when you are in a bright lighting condition you have to manually increase the brightness from the notification window and when you are in a dark place you have to decrease it so though this phone doesn't have any auto brightness control this brightness control tool here is quite handy now let me show you the multi-touch capability of this phone and as you know i always do that with a live wallpaper here it is now it has got one two three four and five point multi-touch which is quite good now let's try six fingers and as you can see it has got up to five point multi-touch which is quite good actually a lot of applications and games use this multi-touch capability for example the very popular fruit ninja game and also this wallpaper the name of the wallpaper is koi free you can try it now let me show you another very nice wallpaper and there is a reason of showing that the name of this live wallpaper is season zen and the speciality of this live wallpaper is that when you scroll on the home the live wallpaper actually moves horizontally now in this specific version of touch which that is the nature ux this kind of live wallpapers actually don't work i have tried this wallpaper on galaxy y and it did work now let me show you the speaker quality As you can hear the speaker quality is quite decent, I will not say it is very loud but the quality is quite good, the voice clarity is specially quite nice and you are also getting a very nice equalizer option with a custom equalizer, I will show that in the in depth review so don't forget to subscribe. Now regarding the camera quality, I will upload the camera samples in my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal. I will also upload them to my Flickr account for better quality and the Flickr link will be available on the Facebook page. Now let me show you the storage, RAM and the Android version. First of all the Android version is 4.0.4 which is quite nice actually, almost latest and the kernel version is 3.0.8. The device memory as you can see is 1.6 GB plus 156 MB that is around 1.75 GB. Now the RAM on this device is quite decent, it is 209 plus 437 that is around 650 MB which is quite nice for a device like this. Now one thing here is very important, there is no option for moving the applications to the external SD card. So you have to use the 1.75 GB of internal storage for your applications but don't forget that this is an Android device and you can do a lot of things. You can root the device and increase the internal storage. Now it is time to run some benchmarks on this device. Now first of all let me show you the quadrant benchmark. Here is the full system information. The Android version is 4.0.4 and the model name is GTS7562 and the CPU is ARM version 7 running at 1008 MHz that is around 1 GHz and it is obviously single core and the memory is around 661,000 KB which is one of the best feature of this phone. Now the display is 480 by 800 at the rate of 160 by 160 dpi which is quite good and the GPU is Qualcomm Adreno 200 which is quite moderate actually. Now let me show you the sensors on this device. It has got 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis magnetic field sensor, orientation sensor and also proximity sensor. Now let's start the benchmark. Here you got the result and you are getting total of 2207 which is quite good, not bad at all for a mid-range device like this. Now let's run this Nina Mark 2 benchmark. As you can see you have got 20 FPS which is quite moderate and quite standard for a mid-range device. Now let me show you onto the benchmark performance on this device. As you can see friends, you have got 3234 on the Antutu benchmark which is quite standard but I will not say this is very best for our device with this price tag. 
so overall as you can see this phone is not a hardcore gaming phone it is basically a multimedia phone the display on this device is excellent and the sound quality and the user interface on this device is quite good but regarding the processing power it is actually quite standard it is for those people who are looking for a very beautiful looking device with a very beautiful ui that is the ui you got with the galaxy s3 and obviously the dual sim functionality which is the main factor of this phone i have uploaded a dedicated video showing you the dual sim calling on this phone it has got samsung smart dual sim functionality that means when you are on a call over one sim you can still get calls from the sim too so don't forget to watch that video i'll also upload full in-depth review on this phone so don't forget to subscribe to gadgets portal and as i mentioned before you can visit my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples and if you have found this video helpful then like this video comment here and also share this video with your friends so that's all for now see you in the next video bye bye